to Cozy with Lisa and Jill, or Jill and Lisa, however you want to put it together. And we've got a couple of friends with us today. So we've got Heather over here, and we've got um, Jenny over here. I almost forgot her name. She's a really close friend. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, what we're doing is we're doing Friends in a Movie, and it's fall, as you probably can see by the set. Um, we've got some little fall things going on. We've got some fall food, and so we're going to kind of share that with you today. Day. Um, what else do we have, Lisa? We have got lots of movies we're going to talk about. We've mm -hmm. got some recipes, and we're going to talk about some fall memories and things that we like to do as traditions, um, and just spending time with friends. Yeah, absolutely. Because what is more Hugo than that? That's right. <laughs> it's very cozy, um, and cozy is different for everybody. So let's let you meet our friends and let them tell you a little bit about themselves. Heather, why don't you go first? So my name is Heather and I am a children's librarian in McFarland and I don't know what else to tell about well, myself. Why don't you tell us what's cozy for you What's cozy fall? for yeah. me in the fall? So cozy for me is when it starts to get cold out. I'm a runner and I love the leaves on the ground and the chill in the air. I also love apple cider. Oh, it's yum. one of my favorite things for fall. Mm -hmm, for sure. And Jenny? Um, I'm Jenny and I am sales director at the Lang Companies in Waukesha. I've been there 25 years in a couple weeks. Um, it's amazing because I'm only 32 years Isn't old. Is that how it works? Yeah. It's amazing. Labor. It's amazing. <laughs> um, and cozy for me, I am not the most cozy person. <laughs> I'm not the most cozy person in the world, meaning that I don't like sweaters or soup or being warm because I'm older and I am warm all the time by myself. So I don't need those <laughs> extra things upon me. Um, but I do, I do enjoy spending time with Lisa. Um, I enjoy things like community theater because that, to me, that makes me feel cozy. It makes me feel happy. And uh, to me, it's... Those are synonymous. So I don't need to be covered up with a blanket to be cozy or, um, but I do enjoy, you know, just lounging around in my living room with a cat on my lap. That to me makes me cozy. So absolutely. And one of the things we've always talked about too is everybody's got their own level of coziness. So <laughs> yeah. So what was the next thing on our list that we were going to talk about? So. so the next thing we are going to go over today are some of our most um, favorite and comforting memories of the fall. Oh, oh, I've got a good one. I've got to start this. Okay, so you guys have time to think. But okay. um, so when I was probably, oh gosh, I, maybe seven or eight, um, my grandfather and my grandmother, my mom and my dad, my sister and I, um, I think we only did this twice, but it's a really, really strong memory. My grandpa would hook up this old wagon to his tractor and we would go out into the woods and my dad would walk along with his gun because it was hunting rabbits or partridge or something like that and um, my grandma and my mom would sit on the bench that grandpa had made on these old horsehair cushions and um, my sister and I would sit on the floor with them and the fall leaves would be coming down and it's the smell of the the dirt on the wheels of the tractor. I can see it, I can smell that earthiness, and every time I'm in the woods in the fall, all those memories come back to me, and it was chilly and cold, but Grandma made a really cool lunch, and we stopped at a little old cabin that was abandoned, and it was, it's such a wonderfully strong memory for me. I think that made fall my favorite um, season for so long, so, so that's mine. Lisa? So I remember um, when my older brother, Scotty, Scotty is 13 years older than I am, when he was in high school, he had a Halloween party with his friends in the basement of our house. And being the little sister, I wasn't encouraged to participate in a <laughs> Halloween party, but I remember kind of sneaking down the stairs and sitting on the steps and kind of like peeking around the corner and listening to the ghost stories and taking in all the spooky like lighting and um, I started giggling and then they discovered that I was there. But, <laughs> but they were doing all kinds of fun stuff like bobbing for apples and you know everybody was dressed up for Halloween. So I remember that very vividly. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Jenny? Um, one memory that 
or, or something that I, I, it is a memory, but it's something that I think about with fall, are leaves, obviously. And I just remember the old high school in Watertown, for those of you who are local, um, was on 8th Street. And the homecoming games were at Washington Park because there was no field by the high school. And I remember walking from the high school to the park and just hearing, because it was always October, yeah. homecomings in October, around my birthday, and all the dead leaves on the sidewalks, because nobody cleared their sidewalks of the leaves, and just rustling through those leaves. And I think about that, because they were wet, and it was probably pretty gross. <laughs> but you still, that, that memory of kind of sludging through a bunch of leaves and the smell, the kind smell. of with you, Jill, yeah. that you get that smell in your head. And, and to me, that's what fall is. And I don't know how cozy that sounds, <laughs> but it was just a memory from a long, long time ago. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Heather? Let's see. So we, I grew up in upstate New York for um, first five years of my life, six years of my life. And the one thing I remember is my birthday's also in October. Yeah. <laughs> And the spiles would be put into the trees at my house to get the sap out of the trees to make maple syrup. Um, and my friends and I would sneak around and stick our fingers to get the sap. <laughs> I'm now revealing where your sap went up in upstate New York if, you, if your harvest in our area was low that year. So we would go around and, and sneak around and eat the sap out of the buckets and such. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. Okay, statue of limitations. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think I'd say. <laughs> so go to our Facebook page and tell us about your favorite fall memories. That would be really, really fun to share that too. So, mm -hmm. yeah, so what's up next? So next is the journal segment. Oh, yes, journal. And as I was telling you earlier, I did not have much that was cozy to reflect upon over the last month. So my journal <laughs> Journal, surprisingly, um, is a lot like Jill's has been in the past. It's <laughs> empty for the last month. But the one thing um, that I will share, um, for the last several years, um, my husband and I are best friends with Jenny and her husband. Mm -hmm. And we traditionally take a Labor Day weekend getaway, all four of us together. And this year we went to Dubuque just a couple weekends mm -hmm. ago. We stayed at a nice little bed and breakfast. And so what if I had actually written anything in here, it would have been about the breakfasts that we had at the bed and breakfast. Um, they were phenomenal. They were. They the were so good. The waffles were the lightest, oh most fluffy waffles we have ever had. Mm -hmm. um, there were crepes that had like a banana pecan sauce that were just delicious. Um, I actually pulled up a couple of recipes from the Bed and Breakfast website. One of the... What's the name of the Bed and Breakfast? The Bed and Breakfast was um, the Richards House mm -hmm. in Dubuque, Iowa. And um, Michelle is the owner. Um, and she's got a page on her Facebook page, or on their website, rather, that's got some of her recipes. And I'll link that to our Facebook and to our Pinterest as well. Great. But um, the recipe for her cinnamon sour cream coffee cake is one that she's got on her website. We had that the second morning mm -hmm. that we were there. That was just delicious. Mm -hmm. And it was just the experience of, you know, sitting in this beautiful old dining room at our little table of four, and she's bringing us all these wonderful foods. She had... What did we have with the pears? It was like a, a wine sauce. Yes, it was a wine sauce. Currants. It was mm -hmm. so good. So delicious. Mm -hmm. And so that for me was like the most cozy part of the whole weekend. Mm -hmm. Sounds wonderful. Mm -hmm. um, so for me, again, I didn't write it down, but I don't have to because it's <laughs> all up here. <laughs> it's all. <laughs> um, I was up north last weekend. I didn't go up to my cabin, um, not for Labor Day, but for the weekend after that. And um, everything started to turn up there, which is wonderful. Uh, but the one thing that was just so cozy for me is that I planted a grapevine 
and I'm not even sure how long ago it was. It could be 10 years ago. It probably was more like five, but I really don't remember. It was cut down a couple of times by mistake. Um, I really kind of ignored it. And this year it has probably 10 to 15 really big bunches of grapes. And I can't remember the kind they are or anything. They're turning purple. And so I was able to grab the really dark purple ones and they were so sweet and so fresh. And even though there was a seed in them, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, oh my gosh, I was just so excited that I, you know, got these wonderful grapes that were on my grapevine that had so many, you know, it, it probably should have died you know but it didn't it survived it came back like we all tend to do hopefully um so that was my real little cozy moment for the for the month so that brings a nice memory back for me too my dad you've been down to my mom and dad's yes. house my dad had a huge garden and on the property behind the garden he had this huge row of grapevines uh, because he made wine okay so they weren't for eating they mm -hmm. were very bitter for wine making okay i always used to love like in the fall walking through the grapevines and looking to see he had red ones and he had green ones and purple ones yeah so. the colors are so yeah. beautiful yeah yeah that's one of the things i love about fall is the colors are just mm -hmm. magnificent mm -hmm. so we're lucky we're in a part of the country that has colors, you know. That so. has seasons. That has seasons. <laughs> That's right. And it was the strangest thing when we were in Dubuque. We were going along yeah. the river walks. Yes. And just about everything there was still green, you know, the trees and the grass and everything. But we found this one tree that had this one little section of leaves like underneath. That was completely red already. Oh, it was probably the, uh, Virginia Creeper. That could be. Oh, maybe. Yeah. And then we went to the Arboretum mm -hmm. and um, the uh, Flower Garden. Botanical the, Gardens. Botanical Garden. Thank you. You're welcome. After that, <laughs> and it, we were walking through part of the Arboretum, and there was a section of trees where just a little portion of it was already completely gold. Yeah. So, I mean, obviously fall is coming, but yes. it's hard to hard to let go yet of the I summer. Know. But it's nice to see that color coming. It is. In. It is. It's kind of a bonus for mm -hmm. the end of our beautiful summer days. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, and Heather and I are actually going with our other friend Leah to uh, Galena yes. in a, about a month or so. And that should be a really peak time we for We love that Galena, too. too. That's yeah. another great not place to go. Dubuque. That's nope, true. It's not. In yeah. fact, the only time I've ever been there was when I had a meeting in Dubuque and then I decided to drive oh. down and go to it. So we're really looking forward to mm -hmm. that. Again, an event with friends. So it's so important, obviously, to be with your friends. Mm -hmm. um, it just makes you feel better. So, mm -hmm. all right, what's up next? Let's share our recipes. Oh, okay. Next. Great. You want to go first? Yeah, I can go first. Um, so I today um, made an apple cake for us to enjoy for our party because we got together um, we're gonna watch a movie and um, instead of the general junk foodie thing it's like oh, let's just have some really good homemade food that's um, that tastes good um, and it's fall really comfort. fall comfort food very good so I love apple cake and I probably have four recipes for apple cake but this is the one that I chose it's um, called mom's favorite Jewish apple cake and it came from all recipes um, from a lady named Judy Crew C-R-U um, and it's pretty simple sugar cinnamon um, there's apples that you peel and cut into very thin pieces so it, it, it cooks up really well just the flour baking soda of course salt four eggs um, a lot of eggs um, and the sugar is a little high too two and a quarter but you know it's fall, we can do that. Um, a little oil, some orange juice, and then some vanilla extract and then powdered sugar on top of it. Um, and I you know, put it on the, the tray here and um, you can, we'll get a cutaway for it so you can see what it looks like. Um, but I did make a mistake on it because you know, you're supposed to read your recipes all the way through, <sighs> which I know better. But you put like half the batter in and then you're supposed to put half the apples and then the rest of the batter and then the rest of the, so I just put all the apples in the middle, but I'm sure it'll taste fine. <laughs> If not, we're not going to tell you. So. <laughs> That's right. And the other thing that I made was a punch. And um, I have to look up the recipe real quick. So why don't you go with yours, Lisa? And then... Um, so one of my favorite fall food foods is soup. Um, and it's really quite 
remarkable that Jenny and I are still best friends. <laughs> After she once told me that sweaters and soup are two things she could do without. They're two of my favorite things. Yeah. So the fact that I didn't disown you like that is, is really quite remarkable. But um, technically, it's not a soup. It's a stew. Um, the recipe that I have for you today. But this is one of my and Jim's favorite recipes for fall. It's a sweet potato lentil stew. It's so flavorful and um, so hearty and filling. Um, it's really delicious. This is a recipe that I got from Taste of Home. And I love it because it's a slow cooker recipe. So you can just throw it in the slow cooker, let it go all day, and then you come home to this wonderful smelling stew. Um, so it has sweet potatoes, it's got dried lentils, it has carrots, onions, cloves, cumin, ginger, cayenne pepper, just a little bit of cayenne pepper, um, vegetable broth, and then fresh cilantro. Um, and I do a hack with this. I buy the pre-sliced carrot chips and just throw them in there. It saves so much time, you don't have to cut up all the carrots. But um, it is so savory and, um, oh, the smell is just wonderful with all of those um, seasonings. And yeah, the spices in there. sound wonderful it's together. It's really good. So I'll be sure to post that yeah. um, on Pinterest and mm -hmm. Facebook as well. Yeah, yeah. And I'll do the same with mine. Um, and here is the... Um, it's called cranberry orange cider and you use um, and what's nice about this recipe and we'll do that with Pinterest too is that you can do it like one two three times the recipe depending on how many people so once one recipe serves four but it was kind of small so I made two anyway <laughs> um, it calls for two cups of cranberry apple juice a cup of orange juice a cinnamon stick a couple of orange slices and a tablespoon of honey, and that's it. Um, so super simple. Um, it looks kind of interesting, uh, so we'll see how it tastes, but um, I think it'll be good. So mm -hmm. nice for fall, something different, and I think it'll go well with the apple cake. So Not the traditional apple cider. That's right. Nice. That's yeah. right. A little something different. And since we're talking about food, I wanted to share this with you. I just got this. I get tons of uh, magazines and catalogs, and especially around this time of year when it's starting to be you know, holiday time. Uh, but this one's called Fancy Flowers, and flowers is F-L-O-U-R-S, and it's a baking catalog. Um, so there's all kinds of really, really interesting things in here that you've maybe seen on TV shows that you have no idea where I'm gonna get that. Um, probably something you can't find local as much as we like to do local. Um, but just, just letting you know that it's really, really great. It's got some uh, like towels and you know little knickknacks and stuff, but the baking things, the pans, um, some of the accessories, a lot of cool stuff. So just want to let you know about that one. So Excellent. okay, great. So let's transition from the food mm -hmm. to the movies. Oh yeah. Because there's nothing more cozy than snuggling up um, either by the fire or with um, your partner um, and watching a movie. Mm -hmm. So what are some of your favorite fall movies? Oh gosh, you know, I, I when you think about it, it's like fall, okay. Or fall cozy movie, movie. Cozy, cozy movies. Cozy. I'm a huge rom-com fan, um, but when Harry met Sally, for some reason brings me fall because there's that really cool scene where they're walking in New York in the fall. Um, so that's one of, that's one of my favorites um, as far as cozy goes. But I also like a lot of the 30s, um, also, you know, screwball comedies, black and white ones. So those are kind of my favorite. What about you, Heather? Well, I have a not so popular opinion on what's cozy for watching movies because I am a huge horror movie fan and this time of year gives me permission to watch horror films. And the cozy <laughs> horror films I like are the older ones. I even like, I like the Bela Lugosi's. I like some of the Christopher Lee, the older ones and the 80, 80s cheese is what I like too. Those are, those are what I enjoy to bring out in the fall. Okay. Lisa? So I really enjoy kind of like you, the older movies and just having come off of um, performing in Arsenic and Old Lace, mm -hmm. that is a great classic 
I would say fall. I mean, there's a there's a little bit of macabre element to that. Um, sure. Cary Grant. That's mm -hmm. a really good one. Yeah. I also really enjoy Young Frankenstein. Oh, because it's that's funny. a good one. It's mm -hmm. um, and then this morning, this as I was thinking about tonight's show, I had another thought. Um, so Jenny and I were really into the show Zoe's Extraordinary Playlist when yeah. it was a series on TV. And this isn't necessarily fall, but it's like getting into the holiday time of year. Um, and so we at our house um, subscribe to Amazon Prime. And so we get like that station where we can watch all their original shows and movies and whatnot. And once the series wrapped, they came out with Zoe's Extraordinary Christmas Movie. And so I said to Jenny last Christmas, I said, you have to come over and we have to watch this movie together. And so, you know, the holidays just got to be so busy, so we couldn't watch it before Christmas. And then it got to be Easter, and it was actually <laughs> Easter Sunday. I said, hey, come over and watch Zoe's Extraordinary Christmas movie. And that, to me, was like the epitome of like a cozy day or, you know, afternoon spent with your best mm -hmm. friend, cozied up on the couch watching this sweet movie. We had the tissue box in between us <laughs> yep. because we were both we falling it. by the end. Mm -hmm. But um, but that was like, that was the epitome of the comfort, cozy movie. Mm -hmm. your For sure. Yeah. 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 You have some other ones, Jenny? Um, well, I am not a huge movie person. I'm more of a I like live theater better than I like movies. But, I mean, TV in general, like, for me, my favorite show is Hogan's Heroes. I mean, that <laughs> gives it's you... Excellent. It's not cozy. Gives, it gives, it's no. not really cozy, <laughs> but, I mean, I've watched every episode probably 30 times. Oh, so, my gosh. Uh, but I, I love that. But anything, any kind of series, that's what I like. I like right. to have... Like we were talking before we started this, we talked about the Great British British Baking Show and um, Best Home Cook and all these other kind of, that kind of thing. I like those. Yeah. I like things that I can watch a bunch of, I like to binge watch. How's that? Um, anything like that. Mm -hmm. So um, they, they make me feel cozy because I, I know that I can watch another one. Yeah. <laughs> the worst is, oh, and you know it's the last one. You're right. You are right on that. Or the next season hasn't started right, or something right. like that. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. yeah, that's totally one, it. One series that I particularly like is the Gilmore Girls. And I didn't even watch it until like maybe two years ago. And I'd heard about it. And what my friend of mine is like, you've got to watch this because you will really like it. And I do. Oh, yeah. they're so well written and it's so fast. But it kind of reminds me of like the screwball comedies back in the mm -hmm. 30s and 40s. The writing was so amazing. So that's one of When were those first aired? 90s um, or 2000s? I think late 90s maybe. Okay. I Yeah, yeah I could be completely wrong on yeah. that one. But it's been a while. They just had a reunion movie not too long ago. Oh, where, okay. Yeah, they finally got married at the end. But anyway, so that was good. <laughs> well, so, just spoiled just it spoiled for, all for us. us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, are we so now we're gonna wing it. Now we're gonna yeah. wing it. Gonna um, wing actually, it. what we're gonna do is we're gonna watch a movie that we think everybody loves at <laughs> Halloween. Just the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown. Mm -hmm. um, oh my gosh, this is one of my favorite favorite. Talk and, about nostalgia. Oh mm -hmm. my gosh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Do you remember watching it for the first time? Not for the first no. time, but I remember watching it as a kid. I think I, I remember watching it as a kid, but we had... So, I'm going to tell everyone... Everyone will know how old I am now, because we had UHF, and we were able to turn in CBC, because we lived in northern New York State, so we got the Canadian broadcast system <laughs> on the rabbit ears, and I remember us gathering around to watch it on our little TV with... That. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think when I first saw it, we still had black and white TV, mm -hmm. so it wasn't quite this Well, big. I noticed when you had it up there before we started um, mm -hmm. that it, 1966 was the, the year on it. So, yeah. I mean, I was too young to, I was a, alive, but I didn't know what television was. I was yeah. only a year old, so. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I probably watched it the first year it was out. I can't remember it, but I do. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure. And I, I really remember the Christmas one, too. Yes. Yeah. I think I like the, Holly, the Halloween one better. You know, the whole I Gotta Rock. Yeah. That's, that's mm -hmm. classic. Yeah. So, anyway. All right, well, let's watch it. And um, maybe you guys could go watch a favorite movie with some of your <laughs> friends, too. So, thank you for watching, and uh, we'll be back in a month or so with probably a little more towards the holiday, Thanksgiving, Christmassy thing. Mm -hmm. So, thanks for watching.